Here's what the media will not tell you. After the brutal verbal abuse by the health minister of Goa to Dr. Rudesh Kutikar in the casualty of Goa Medical College, all the doctors of Goa were united, unanimously asking for the health minister for a public apology in the very same casualty where Dr. Rudresh was holding up the principle, the main principle of emergency medicine that is triage. After this incident, a nationwide agitation was fought on social media and on ground with support from 17 different resident doctors association, none less than the AIMS, the IMA and multiple other doctor groups. Support poured in from everywhere, even a UK based doctor offering Dr. Kutikar a job just in case he was fired from his job. Where a simple phone call from the right person would drive a overworked doctor into prioritizing you over hundreds of other patients. Never have before a protesting group anywhere in India got the CM sign on a paper to agreeing to our 7 points. This includes enhanced safety to doctors, establishment of CCTV cameras, police officers and a complete protocol to take care of VIP culture in GMC. With these assurances and so that the common public of GMC does not get affected by it, the guard was compelled to call the strike off. And his very presence on the GMC campus emphasized the power of doctors in the state. This is very nostalgic because the doctors of GMC played a pivotal role in Goa's freedom struggle and there were echoes of the past in the present. It was not easy to fool the doctors of GMC and to guilt trip them into apologizing to a chair. What remains to be seen is whether the signed agreements on paper will actually become reality and I assure you that every single GMC doctor is working not only to make GMC safe for doctors but also contribute to an equal service to the public, the Goan public, to the healthcare that they really, really deserve.